Hi, my name is Teresa Koblack and I had a request about painting on a tile. So today we're going to be painting on a 6x6 tile. I will be using the 99% alcohol that is what is in my uh, little bowl. And yes, my little bowl is an antique salt dish. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm just tapping into a little bit of uh, denim and my inks are made by Ranger and I'm just going to do my sky here at first and just putting a little bit of color in sometimes I do do it when I'm painting I'll take and just kind of splash on my sky how I want it but I want a little bit more control on this, so I decided to do it with the uh, fan brush. So my niece was in visiting, and she lives in Colorado because her husband's in the military. And I was out there visiting her and had taken a lot of reference photos. Or I took a lot of photos, and I used them for reference photos. And so that's why I decided to paint Colorado. So I'm just dabbing some of those clouds a little bit with my brush. My brush, I'm going into the alcohol, dabbing in and wiping a little bit off. I like my clouds to kind of be loose. We're going to give that a little bit of tip so it gives it a little movement. I'll go ahead and add a little bit more blue. I'm just using some sailboat blue and the denim. Give that a little tip. I just want some really nice, loose clouds. And as soon as I have my sky the way I'd like it, we'll go ahead and start bringing in those mountains. And the inks that I'm using are made by Ranger. I will leave the colors listed below. And I'm just tipping my tile. When I tip it, I can see the ink coming down and I just kind of pay attention to it. And I kind of like that sky there. So we'll go ahead and start bringing in those mountains. And I had actually went up to Pikes Peak when I was there. So that's what we're going to do, a little bit of Pikes Peak. And just grab it into a little bit of that pitch black. Go back and grab a little of that denim. And I'm going to pick up my round brush. So my favorite brush is my fan brush by far. And then next I love having the round brush. The brushes that I use, I pick up at Michael's or Joann's. I don't get real expensive ones, just because with the inks, they won't last forever. The alcohol eats away at them. But the brushes I use are made for acrylics or watercolors. So I'm just kind of pulling some ink out 
just kind of letting it move around, do its thing. And bring in a little bit of color in. Letting the ink shuffle. A little greener than I wanted that was limeade that I had so I just grabbed onto a little bit of that denim and went over top of it if you haven't been to Colorado it is beautiful it was my first time being out there. So in front of Pike's Peak, you can actually, um, the Garden of the Gods is in front of it. So if you're at the Garden of the Gods, you'll see it. And we're going to go ahead and put that right in front. And I kind of figuring where I want it here. So I'm going to grab onto a little bit of that crimson. I'm going to go ahead and put it right about here. Bring it up. And I'm just painting with the edge of my brush. Kind of comes over, grab on to a little bit more of that crimson. And then it goes into another part of the Garden of the Gods here. So when you're working on your painting, you can strictly go off of a photograph or you can add things of your own to it as you're working on it. Just coming in, picking up a little bit of that green. And that is limeade that I picked up, even though it's nice and bright green, mixing it together gives a good color. Go back and grab a little more of that crimson. I kind of like that. So at the Garden of the Gods, there's not a water source here. It's just green and rocky and green. So this is where we can decide. Do we want to paint it just like that? Or do we want to maybe add something of our own? I don't know. I kind of like water, so I might just have to add something. All I'm doing is taking my brush, just kind of blending those colors together.
I kind of like that. I think I'll grab a little bit of green and pull up some grass here and there. And just kind of blot some in. So here's the big question, water or no water? I think we should have some water. Why not? The Garden of the Gods, they would like some water coming through, maybe a stream right here. That's really the cool thing when you're painting at your world as Bob Ross would say, and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, put it in right there. So I just kind of etched in where I wanted it, bringing that ink and just kind of drawn it in with the ink. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of color. Clean off my brush. Just bring my edge in a little. Coming back to this and putting a few highlights in. And over here, I think we'll make this kind of rocky. Just kind of tapping some of that yellow in. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of green, bring that in. And we'll grab some of that crimson. I had something on my brush there, so clean that off. Sometimes my Little kitties make my life interesting when I'm painting. I think we'll just kind of make this a rocky area right here. Just kind of blob it in there. And all that was was the pitch black. I do have a lot of people ask me if I'm using something different than ink when I'm using my black. And it is just the black. I do keep it in a separate container away from all my other inks. Just because I don't want that black to cloud up my inks. Just kind of make that like a rocky formation there. So I'm just kind of letting the alcohol do its thing. Let the inks run where they want to go. And then just keep an eye on it and come back to it. On it and come back to it. Kind of 
and want that rock thicker there. Nice big rock there. Grab a little bit more of that pitch black. Just like it has a little stream going through. Now, if you just want to go by the photo that you've taken, that's fine too. If you want to add to it, there's nothing wrong with that. Draw painting, do it however you want. So I just have a tiny bit of alcohol on my brush. Just pulling that stream down a little. And now what I'm going to do is put some rocks in the stream. So that water has to hit up against those rocks to get down. I did that with the black. And I came in with a little denim on it. I'm just adding a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of alcohol, and a little bit of imagination. And bring my rocks up. Well, it's not quite the direction I want it to go, but it's getting there. Definitely needs some help. Let's put a little grass in. I find when I'm painting, I just kind of like to see where the ink takes me. So on that grass, I'm just dabbing into that green. I'm just taking and pulling it up. I'm just kind of going where the cracks of the rocks, where the rocks would come together. Now that this dried down a tiny bit, just going to wiggle a little bit of alcohol in there make our rocks a little unusual shapes and i need a little bit more alcohol in my bowl Just because I use, I use that bowl to clean off my brush. And so I do go through quite a bit of alcohol sometimes. Another question I get asked a lot is when your ink is in uh, the paint tray, if it will still work if you let it set. Absolutely. I let mine set all the time. And I'll just pour some more of the same color if I need to add a little more. These little rocks in the water would be they're being uncooperative.
So if my ink dries in the tray, all I do is take my 99% alcohol, just give it a little squeeze, couple drops in each one, and boom, we're ready to use it again. And the nice thing about working out of the tray like this, it works a lot easier for your paint brushes. I just kind of put some grass coming along there. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that black. I'm going to pick up a little more blue just because I want it to have a touch more blue down here. Not too much. Tap off my brush. I just want it to look like the stream is running. Then the other thing we can do is just clean off our brush real good. It just has the alcohol on it. And where these little rocks are, just if it's splashing up against it. Clean off my brush real good. Water would be all splashing because it's hitting up against the rocks. I'm just taking pull this down. Well, it's a little different for me than what I normally paint. But maybe there was some kind of technique today that helped you out and maybe will help you paint your painting. And if you haven't looked at some of my other videos, go ahead and pull them up. I do have a variety of videos that may be helpful to you. I'll just go ahead and put a little bird in. I can see I have a little splash right there. So on that little splash is where I'm going to want my bird. Just cover them up a tiny bit. And maybe we'll do a couple. And since I have them so far apart, I think I'm going to do a third one. Maybe put him about right here. So it's fun to try new things. I hope you pull out your inks and just give them a little try doing something a little different. Maybe you were on vacation and took some photos. Pull those photos out and, and use them. Otherwise, maybe you live in Colorado or where there's some beautiful mountains. And then you could do the mountains in your neighborhood. Otherwise, use your imagination because that's a great thing too. Now, if I want it to, and I, I think I might just do it, so we'll put a little bit of snow up on that mountain. So all I did is clean off my brush. And I'm pulling out a little bit of that ink. Put, put a little bit of snow on that mountain. Only because Colorado just got hammered with snow.
I think we're going to go ahead and leave it be right about there. Well, if you liked this video and it was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. That's all I need from you. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. That lets me know that you'd like to see more of my videos. You can see more of my work on Facebook or Instagram under my name, Teresa Kovlak. And um, if you like, share my video with your friends. So let me go ahead and put a piece of paper under there, a paper towel. That way you can see the painting. So again, my name is Teresa Kovlak. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day and happy painting. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. On all my work, whether it be a tile, Yupo paper, plastic paper, I always see all my artwork. So first I'll put the varnish on and I just put a nice light coat on it. I come back, I put another nice light coat on it. And then let that dry. And after that's dried, I go ahead and put the UV on. And I let that dry. And then I usually do two coats of the UV. So two and two. But I put the varnish on first. The UV second. If you do it the other way around, uh, it can give you speckles. So you want to keep your work good. Go ahead and use these. That works great on the... Uh, Ranger. So um, thanks again for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.